What's up, Madden 25, Madden 15, actually, sorry guys. Uh, what's up, Madden 15 gamers? Welcome back to another season of Madden. Uh, today we're giving you our top five tips to improve overnight on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, we're going to be giving you our top five tips offensively and overall uh, to win overnight. Uh, soon, but today we're going to be focusing majorly on defense. In this year's game, there's a lot of new adjustments, uh, just a lot of different things that you can do uh, on the defensive side of the ball to really give your team an advantage and actually make defense actually matter this year, which is kind of neat. Uh, I love the way the game plays so far. I've I played a lot. Uh, haven't played as much as I would have uh, originally liked, but I have played a lot, and I feel like I've got a decent grasp on at least the basics of the game. And uh, hopefully, I can give you some information that actually might be beneficial to you. So, uh, for today, we're just going to use the Nickel 335. It's a uh, e guide that I'm working up right now, and uh, we're going to come out in the play cover to sync here, and I want to illustrate some points to you. Uh, so, first tip that I want to go over here is coverage assignments. There's a one specific adjustment that I want to uh, just kind of make you guys aware of and it's for mainly situations when you're facing um, like a fourth and two or even a third and ten or something like that and what I like to do here and, and, and say this is like a, a first down or excuse me like a third and long and say they got to get to the 20 yard line so I'm gonna try to hit X across the middle or maybe even the post route what I would like to do defensively is I'm gonna hit the the coverage adjustment I'm gonna hit uh, triangle triangle on PlayStation 4 or YY on Xbox one and what it's gonna do is it's gonna protect the sticks meaning that any route that goes 10 yards they're going to really play that hard and here you see I'm gonna try to hit this crossing route they're gonna let it sit underneath the first down marker and make the tackle what's really interesting about this is you can do that also for like a fourth and two situation uh, or like a fourth and one or fourth and inches it, it's gonna protect the sticks all across the board here you see I'm gonna try to hit this post route my middle linebacker is gonna drop over the middle of that because that's going beyond the yard uh, going um, to the first down sticks and it's gonna stop it so that's the first tip I wanted to go over uh, second tip is the contain rush now the contain rush and, and this is going to uh, we're gonna get back to this later we're gonna give you his own blitz for today but the contain rush what I like to do and this is really good because it gives you two uh, features first and foremost it contains mobile quarterbacks so they can't get out of the pocket and secondly it does a really nice job of actually giving us better blitz angles uh, to get to the quarterback. So, uh, for example, one of the blitzes that I'm going to run, I'm going to set it, set it up real quick. And what you'll see is you want to hit the left trigger on Xbox One or L2 on PlayStation 4. And you want to hit uh, right button or R1 on, uh, depending on which console, you're going to get this quarterback attained. And you see these rush angles are now going to be a little bit different uh, than your custom to season. But what you'll see here is they're still going to come in off that edge. And uh, we got picked up that time. But... Uh, the contain is going to do a nice job, first and foremost, again, uh, keeping the quarterback in the in the pocket. And then secondly, it's going to do a really, really nice job at actually giving you different blitz angles to get different types of pressure. Uh, wider blitz angles can actually help benefit you pressure-wise in this year's game. So you want to make sure that you're taking advantage of that. Um, you know, I mean, it's pretty simple. It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory, but I, I think that uh, it's actually very effective in this year's game. Here you'll see I'm going to try to roll out with, with Rodgers. I'm going to try to get out. They see they're going to bounce off, and I'm going to have to force a throw uh, into coverage. So that's what I wanted to talk about with the contain rush. Secondly, this is why we came out in cover two. See, cover two in this year's game is really effective. Uh, here you're going to see a lot of the routes that I want to hit are actually going to be pretty hard to hit against cover two. I mean, there I snuck it in with with uh, Aaron Rodgers and the great uh, accuracy that he displays. But, I mean, the safety was right there, and it, it's just a very difficult uh, defense to beat this year. I mean, here you see I got a guy. I've got a guy in the vicinity every single time running against this post route, and then I'll show you a couple of other routes that they can throw. Maybe this drag, but you see it's going to be underneath, and they're going to force a fumble, or they're going to get a hit stick, or just going to wrap up and make a tackle. So a lot of good benefits to playing cover two this year. Uh, a defense that in years past we really haven't been high on. Uh, you see that they really do a decent job at protecting seams this year. Uh, uh, la uh, number four, user control. So what I like to recommend uh, is is a different player it, 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 than most people use. Um, most people use the safety. I like to recommend you to use the middle linebacker. And the reason is that is because you can go through here and you see these hash marks I like to play within the hash marks so anything in this little box that I'm in right here is my uh, area to lurk so here you see the play is going to come across I'm going to try to jump back jump back on that and then uh, not get, make a nice play over the top force a sack on the quarterback make him hold the ball longer than he wants to we'll take a look at instant replay see what I do here I'm user controlling this little uh, this middle linebacker here I want you to watch what I see on the defensive camera angle as I see them crossing I'm just kind of lurking 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 and I'm just working the inside hashes this is gonna force your opponent to actually have to throw to the outside 
when they're forced to throw to the outside, you can use your cornerbacks and the strengths of the cover two to take advantage of where they're going to be exploiting. Uh, and then the last thing I want to show you is zone blitzing. Zone blitzing this year's game is a little bit more effective than man blitzing because zone coverage, in my opinion, is just a little bit better than man coverage this year. And so uh, the, the blitz I want to show you is the loop crash too, and I'll just show you. I mean, it's a nice little zone blitz. It uses all the features we've been talking about uh, with the cover two. Um, the zone blitz and the contain rush. We want to contain rush everything and you'll see this is just a really nice play uh, to get some pressure on the quarterback and you see uh, Rodgers actually shed the tackle but we're going to come in for the sack. I don't want to give you the setup right now because it's going to be in one of my ebooks later to come but it is a nice play and uh, it just illustrates the concept for you uh, more so than anything else that zone blitzing in this year's game is really important. Uh, you need to be trying to find different types of zone blitzes at the quarterback. So thanks for watching today's video guys. I hope that the audio worked this time. I apologize for the audio not working in the previous video. Hopefully I got that all figured out and uh, this video works really nice for you. So hopefully you guys appreciate this video. If you do appreciate this video, you can hit a like rating below. Also, if you're new, haven't seen any of my content yet, you might consider hitting that subscribe button let you know when I have future videos coming. Thanks for watching today, guys, and be sure to stay tuned for our top five offense.